welcome back to my channel. I have an Instagram account which started off as a food and fitness account. However, I never post pictures of food any longer. And I'm asked all the time, why? Well, not all the time. It's not like I'm so ragingly popular that people are like, why are you not posting pictures of food? It's for two reasons predominantly. Number one, most of what I eat doesn't look pretty. The truth is, I don't really care what my food looks like. I just want it to fit my macronutrient profile and my caloric needs. My carbs, fats, protein, and my overall calories. That's what I care about. I don't care that it doesn't look beautiful or that it's like a well put together meal. The second main reason is because I eat a lot of repetitive meals. There's only so many times that you can post a picture of chicken sausages, sweet potato and ratatouille, if you know what I'm saying. If you eat, that say, between 35 and 40 times a week with breakfast, lunch, dinner and like three or four snacks a day, <laughs> then every single time you eat does not have to be a gastronomical feast. I wave my hands so much in videos, I just don't know what to do with my hands. I'm just... I decided that I would take you through, not like a week of what I eat, but kind of a week of what I throw myself together as like a main meal and any leftovers that I have that I take for lunch the next day. At the moment, I am not macronutrient counting because I need a break. I've been doing it for a year now in my fitness power life. Without further ado, let's hit the video and I'm gonna show you, I think it is seven ideas of what I do during the week. See you on the other side. Cauliflower toast is awesome and it's the easiest thing in the world to do. Just slice up an entire head of broccoli, no, not broccoli, cauliflower, and slam it in the oven for about 30 minutes, if that, and it makes a great base to different salads and vegetable dishes and any meats that you want to serve with it. first meal I'm starting with is cauliflower toast with heck chicken sausages which I've talked about before in one of my videos I'll put a link into the description box below but I can't live without these this is such a simple quick easy low carb meal so easy to put all the leftovers into a box the next day and just add a few chopped tomatoes a little bit of balsamic dressing done I cannot live without my condiments, so I will also put a link into the description box of all the dieting survival tools that I use. This next meal is one of those meals that really do look awful, but is legitimately the most delicious thing that I have made all week. Goes on. Carbs. I made this meal again a few days later because it was so delicious, but I didn't restuff it into the potatoes. I just threw it into a Tupperware box with some roasted broccoli. I use a natural yogurt, but actually low fat mayonnaise works well if you've got a few more calories to play with, but this works beautifully. I did make the effort to restuff the potatoes, but I really recommend forgoing this process and just scrape all your mixture into a Pyrex dish, scrape your cheese on top and then put in the oven, just as you would the potatoes, for another sort of 10 minutes until the cheese is all melted. I will put a link for the protein lean cheese into the description box because this is also another dieting hack for a super high protein boost during your day. I am determined these days to not spend so much at the grocery store. If anyone does what I do, I go out and I buy shopping, even when I've already got shopping in the cupboard. So. I'm going to knock up a curry using these ingredients. 
Every time I make a curry, it's going to be slightly different because I just tend to use the vegetables that are left over in my pantry. It really is hard to get a curry wrong, in all honesty. Just chuck anything in. Oh, get down! No, sit! Yeah, so we learnt that he can do that. I had a heart attack. If you've seen any of my cooking tutorials and videos before, then you'll know that I have an Argo, which is like one giant slow cooker. So by all means, throw this into your slow cookers at home and cook it on low for that, say, six to eight hours, or cook it on high for a shorter time. Oh, here it is finished. What? What's this new standing feet thing you do? <laughs> Stamping feet. What's he doing behind me? What's he doing? Do you mind, sir? I am so addicted to cauliflower at the moment. Does anyone else do what I do, which is get addicted to a particular food and then use it until you can't bear the sight of it any longer? Because that's what I do. This is a recipe for my super healthy cauliflower cheese soup. You don't have to put cheese in it if you don't want to, but I put the protein lean cheese in so it gives it a big kick of protein. You still hungry? Just simmer your cauliflower until it's soft. Don't cook it for too long. It shouldn't be more than about 10 minutes. Blend it to the extremes. <laughs> We're going to have to switch blenders because you're too scared. Okay. Here we are. Finished. I made some polenta chips with parmesan. Not sure how useful this next recipe was to put in because you can't really get spaghetti squash that readily in England uh, unless you're in like Cornwall or something which is where I got mine from but it's a great alternative to using spaghetti. It is important to cut it horizontally and heavily salt it before you bake it. Don't worry because you are going to wipe most of the salt off once it starts to sweat. Right, so if you see here, see here? Yeah where it all starts to sweat. So the salt, just pour it out. Now, when these come out of the oven, they are hotter than the sun. So let them cool until you can touch them. Run your knife around the edge. And then because you cut it horizontally, the strands will be intact. Don't cut this vertically because you'll cut the strands short. I didn't film my bolognese sauce, but I will do a video if you want it. But it's just a standard bolognese sauce made with turkey mince. Tupperware life. And I'm having this stone cold, stone cold out of Tupperware. But it still tastes good. So this seventh meal is very indicative of whatever I have left over in the fridge. By the way, the baby screaming upstairs has just been bathed by my husband, not killed. Uh, anyway, I am um, going off topic. Anyway, sorry. So I have just found these gosh vegan burger patties and I like to put a fried egg on top and just a mix of vegetables. Simple as that. Done. Do you like this week of eating? Yeah. yeah! Yeah! If you would like to see more from Rocco and me, then please just click thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Say yeah. Yeah! See you next time.